Okay, we'll go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you, Pala has only one hotel still working. I told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. Who can say anymore? <laughs> Hey, look at that. I see it. Hey, you do so much with fire. This fire is like a virus that thing. Brother, he's such a beautiful bummer with a lot of three candles. Hey, a rich man. A brush fire destroyed everything. And now he left the country. Yeah, he'll be there. This is Liberation Radio. Speaking the truth for the truth seekers. And the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scorch. A plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices, who knows? Hey, what about some of the Smelly Checkpoint is all on it? Ahai, I mean, I'm Gumzana. I think I am the Smelly Checkpoint is all on it. Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel in mm -hmm. town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, g gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Ne? On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer, ne? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll see you soon, sir. Troops nowadays. It's okay, they keep to themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you, just boys letting off steam, right? You remember how it is. Everyone's trying to find 
find a way out of the Only fools stay now. <laughs> fools and cab drivers. Okay, you don't look so good. You're tired. Long flight. The target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the Joint Signatory Framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, about what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Bagana truck. You're a mess, man. That business looks nasty.
My name is Carbonell. I don't care what your name is. You're just the problem right now. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So I think you work for me now. I've got a few errands for you, Aaron boy. Get on out here. Get yourself kitted up. There's ammo and meds for you. All right, listen up, Slick. The shit really hit the fan back in town. There was supposed to be a ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work for a guy named Gakumba, local boss for the United Front. I've got all my decent guys out in the field trying to keep the APR from making a land grab. So that just leaves you to take care of the monkey work. First thing, I need to get that piece of shit coop outside back on the road. You look like a vocational school dropout. Go out there and see if you can get the engine running. Try not to get distracted between the door and the car. You look like you're gonna drop dead any second. Guard! Now that you're mobile, you think you can pull off a raid? The APR's got a forward position half a click south of here. If something bad happened to the shitheads manning that post, no one would ever know. Go take them out. out an APR stronghold further south of your position, an old lumber camp. I want to know what resources they got down there. There's a primo observation point marked on your map. Head there now.
Uh, got your intel. Not bad. You see the bricked up place? I hear the APR's got a hostage in there, some foreign national like you. Your new orders are to get in there and break them out. Finish up your recon if you think it'll help. Something's going down. Hmm. Ah! attack! It's on! I'm ready to move this way! over there. They get based on the order. Get on me. Ah! Hey, come in at you. Half a minute fenty out to cry. Break out of your cell or something? Man, you are way too sick to be out here. I know a guy who can help you. Find me at Mike's and I'll hook you up. You made it. All right. Okay, here's how it works around here. The only currency worth shit is rough diamonds. Don't accept paper money from anybody. I wouldn't wipe my ass with it. You do work for the UFLL, you'll get paid in stones. Now, one of my guys, not the sharpest blade in the set, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. 
He stalked them somewhere in camp and probably got shot in the head back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker you can home in on with your compass. If I were you, I'd go buy some medicine first. That malaria is nothing to screw around with. You'll probably have some luck over at Mike's bar. All those expat cabrones drink there. Get yourself healthy and come by the front's office in town. I'll introduce you to Kakumba. Get you hooked up. Hey, he's coming out. Hasta luego. It's me, Paul Ferenc. You helped me out, remember? So you still need the pills? No problem. I can help. See the guy over there? He's got plenty. And listen, you really help me back there. I want to repay the favor. Anytime, okay? Just ask. Because I know how to find things, get things done, stuff like that. Hit all the time back in the IDF. Military service, no big thing. And to hell with this war, right? These guys don't even know why they're fighting anymore. If they ever had a reason. I'm serious, man. I got your back. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Oh, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. So you're not one of them. I'm Ruben Oluagembi, what you call a stringer. And you are new, I can tell by the state of your clothes. You're much too clean. You're taking a chance talking to me. I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war, and about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, 
selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret, but not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The jackers, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, whoever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them. But maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. But about the rages on with the jackass weapons, no less. It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back to me here at the bar. I need them for my story. I'll tell you right now, I can't pay you. I can only offer you my worthless friendship in return. Yeah, what? Wait a minute, you're that new guy. Hey, anything I can do for you, man, just ask. I mean, you name it, I can do it. Firearms, explosives, hand-to-hand, -hand, whatever. I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I had in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away.
Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. You should come back when you require more medicine. How's it yeah. going? I got word on who popped the president. What you mean? How'd you know that? Look my ways, mate. You remember that... Have a look at this fucking toss. That noise. Nah, we did see a good pile of electronic shit on the floor. That chap there, the one that was wandering around with the camera, with a big piece of it on the wall. Invade a man's place, I think. I'm not going to stop bleeding. Hey, over here. Hello. Stop there. You know the drill, no weapons. That is serious problem. It would be easy for people to assume that I ordered this attack. Look at that gear, look at the god Jesus, that is the highest quality. If the people think I brought in this special forces team, then they will say Kakumba is rich, taking their money and hiding it in secret bank accounts. Kakumba is buying entire armies as easy as food off the shelf. I wish you would.